6 o'clock. Uh, approval of the minutes of August 9th. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Yep. Okay, I watched comments. it on TV. Okay. Comments from the public? No public here. Okay. Moving on. Scheduled appointments. 6 o'clock. Jessica Atwood of uh, FERCOG. We'll talk about district local technical assistance project. So I was here last in June and we talked about some potential scopes of work um, using this uh, district local technical assistance funding. Um, and from the conversation, there was a new focus was, was brought up really on Waitley Center. Um, and then also some new information for, for me was to look at the Conway School Landscape Design Study, to do a little more research into the center school. And then I had a conversation with Jonathan and a conversation with Brian too to kind of um, get a little more of a direction of where to go in. And so we came up with this um, project proposal, which I, I just distributed in my apologies. I didn't send it out to you in advance. And it was, it's looking at um, doing a survey to get a conversation going on what is, to engage the community about developing a vision for Waitley Center in particular. What kind of Waitley Center does the community want to have five, 20 years down the road? We had, it's an economic development task that's being funded, so we were looking at what kind of activity you would like to see in, in Waitley Center, and in particular, the center school. Uh, with a project area that would go from Quant Quant Farm along Chestnut Plain Road to Claverack Road. And it would be a survey. It would be inputted into SurveyMonkey. Uh, and then we'd also have some hard copies available for folks who don't want to use uh, the online survey form. Um, and it really would be asking questions of what do you think, um, what would you like to see in Waitley Center? What are, what are the characteristics you'd like to see 20 years from now in Waitley Center? And then also, what would you envision a, a new use for the center school to be? And so that's what the, the project being proposed is. And, and I'd like to hear from you what you think of that project idea and if there's a different direction or, or more that you would like to see in it. Um, any kind of project like this, we would definitely want to work with the planning board as well to get their uh, input on what something like this would look like. And uh, uh, to hear what you think. Well, obviously, you and I talked, what, two weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. Roughly two and a half weeks yep. ago. And Linda was part of the conversation. Uh, Peggy. Okay. 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 Uh, the, the only other piece, and there are some tangential stuff that we were talking about offline a little bit ago, but separate from that, I, I, part of our conversation, which I got excited about, was not just the survey, but also a follow-up in-person meeting where we could discuss and digest the survey mm -hmm. data and draw in more communication, because a survey can provide great data. It's not a communication tool. And I think that one of the things that we've learned in town over the years is that maximizing the, the channels of communication is really important. So nobody can say, well, I didn't know about this. I wasn't, I wasn't asked to be in, involved. We need to make sure that we have open dialogue and we embrace all ideas as not dumb ideas. And the only way to do that is through a follow-up public meeting of some kind, town hall forum, whatever you want to call it. So I think that, I, I personally think that should be definitely added as a follow-up to the survey. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be more than, so we were talking, more than just the Waitley Center. You need to look a little beyond. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly and if you're going to limit it just to Waitley Center, uh, you may have issues with uh, total townwide support if you're doing it just for Waitley Center. So uh, the other the other thing I've mentioned is there was a, a survey done by the I think, it, I think it was historical commission on use of the town hall. Community use of the renovated town hall yeah. where they asked local groups, local organizations, they win some groups outside of the town that would use the facility. So they got input on that. I don't know if you're aware of that or what, but that is available. I think it may even be online on our website. Uh, they give us some idea of the kind of activity that they were promoting for the town hall. And at the same time, they don't want to detract from, there's the Watermelon Wednesday, Wednesdays 
in West Whaley at the, at the uh, church there is another major draw for, for people not only in town, but I think up mostly out of town. People mostly out of town. Absolutely. Out of town go there. So, so that's, that's not in the center of town. So, uh, but it's an asset. It's an asset. And I don't know, the other thing was, you know, you list Quanqua Farms is, is a, uh, is another major asset or activity in the center of town, not only for wedding events, but uh, this time of year for all their uh, fruits and vegetables, gardening activities, that kind of stuff. So they're a major attraction. It's on the edge of the, edge of the center of town. But uh, I guess the point. Well, the, I mean, kind of going off on what Fred originally said about looking bigger. Um, I feel like if if people get these questions, then it, it, it's really very focused on the center school. But I wonder if there's a way to present these or maybe expanded questions sort of in the context of, you know, we live in a region with many resources and then talk about what our neighbors also contribute. How do you see Whitley Center in that context? Because I think putting it in a bigger context um, will change the kind of input you get. And we kind of wanted to see this in terms of a regional economic and we, you know, we talked about that, about yeah. you, know, you, know, uh, you know, Sunderland now has that little Riverside thing and Deerfield has the this and, and, and you know, what, what can we be in that, um, you, know, we, you know, working with our neighbors, how can we do things that are complementary to make this area a destination? And I also think, and I agree, and we also talked about not necessarily looking at it from a static perspective, but a dynamic perspective, yeah. sort of a what if perspective. And that's why in our conversation, you know, what if um, the, around the diner was 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 developed a little bit more? I, I'm just loose guy on this. What if we actually were able to figure out how to draw a larger population to utilize the Whitley Pond, so that we had more traffic, foot traffic, car traffic, whatever it is, perhaps coming through the center of town. So don't look at the center of town as just how it exists now and who passes through it now, but all the other assets that we have at our disposal, if those things were enhanced and, and, and were leveraged to, to, to capacity, then what could you do with, and I'll use a, a, a stupid, not a stupid example, but an example that, let, let's say you wanted to turn um, the, the center school into a restaurant. Well, most people would say, well, let's get traffic counts and let's you know, all that kind of stuff. But, and then a, a potential restaurant owner might say, mm, not enough, not enough, not enough flow. But if you draw into that conversation, well, if you were to better market Quant Quant, if you were to better market um, the Whitley Pond, or if you were to put a couple things into the diner area, or if you were to <coughs> better market Magic Wings, or all the different assets that exist, then that's a different that's a different formula for what's possible in the center of town. And I get that's a lot of what ifs, but I think we waste our money and our time if we just look at it in terms of present day Waitley and our surroundings. We need to look at it as, let's, you know, we choose to go to the moon. And, and, and that aspiration needs to be a part of what this is, not just, well, what is it today, but what do we, what do we aspire to for the whole town? Using the center of town as the 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 linchpin. I don't know. I, I I agree. I agree with what you're saying, Jonathan. I think that's the way we yeah. need to go. Expand and look at other other yeah. activities that affect what goes on in Whiteley. Yeah, and if we're going to survey, so, that bigger context has to be yeah. kind of presented. And, it, and there could be some clever ways to do it. Um, in terms of the first question, could be. You know, which, which of these do you, um, have you been to Magic Butterfly, have you been to all of these different things? And that would be a way to at least, oh, more people have to think about that. They're thinking in a larger context. And I, I don't know if that's really the clever way to do it, but because <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not a specialist at taking, at making or designing surveys. Um, One of the things I'm trying to think about is, you know, within the scope of our available resources, what can we do to move forward? With, with your idea. I think a lot of it is a larger 
master planning or economic development chapter of a master plan type activity. Um, and we don't have the resources to be able to do that now. So what could we do that is an, a preliminary move, a first step towards doing a larger action that, that you're talking about? Um, is it having a better understanding of what people see as the assets in the town? Um, is it looking specifically at like the Wigley Center School? What is it that the town would like to see happen there? Um, because if you, if you have a direction for the center school or a particular vision for what are the most important assets and what is kind of getting to your point of aspiration, what would you like to see the community be in 20 years? Um, that's good information to go to the, go on to another step. Um, what would what do you see as being more valuable? Having a general vision for, in terms of looking at um, what kind of economic activity and where it could be in the community, or would it be more site specific of what would you like to see happen with the center school property? Well, I and mean, we don't even know it's possible for the center school property. That's that's part of the challenge. I mean, and it gets to economics because the center school is going to take money to redevelop um, and how much money you invest in that redevelopment is going to hinge on what your return is potentially going to be and so that's why my, my that's why I keep pushing and I, and I get the resource restriction issue but that's why I keep pushing for what's possible because the return on that investment is a big part of whether the town is going to dump the money into redevelopment of that property or if a, and, and certainly any private company's going to look at what's my ROI on this. One of the things we always hear from developers is they want to know um, what does the community want in a site. They like to have that known up front. Um, they don't want to go into a site and propose something um, and then have the community say, oh, well, we don't want X, we want Y. Um, so having a, a clear understanding of what the community's expectations are and vision for that site could be very useful for a prospective developer as well as the town if the town wanted to go that redevelopment route. Uh, two, two things come to mind. Uh, there was a survey done, I'm guessing the planning uh, did a survey five, six years ago about a town-wide survey and they got, I don't know, 90 responses of what they asked people what they liked about living in Waitley in the town and what they wanted to change and what they see the future as. You know, that may help you see what responses we got before. That's it was limited though. as a benchmark, but it's, it yeah. provides a benchmark. Bench, right? benchmark. And, and the other point I make is rather than focus maybe on the center school, tell us what is lacking in the center of town or any corridor that would help economic activity. You tell us what we need to do. Do we need to develop a, a restaurant there, or do we need a, a playground? Do we need uh, I don't know, some kind of uh, farm stand or, or something like that to get people, more people through the center of town. You know, just looking at center school, I think is is kind of narrowly focused. What else can be done? I mean, what about if you used? Again, I'm I'm, I'm trying to keep in mind the resource restrictions. What if? we used both the center school and the what town hall emeritus will look like in two years in terms of its usage because i don't think anyone truly knows the potential usage the maximum potential usage of that of that building yet i, I think there are a number of ideas that we don't even know exist yet in terms of what could draw people to this town through that building, and doesn't the, all the different variables of that building, which we already own, we're already investing money in, impact what we want to do with the center school so that we don't duplicate efforts? I, I, I don't. But in a way, I feel like that's part of the context for asking this because this is about this is about you know five years, ten years, twenty years from now. Right. And I, I sort of feel like, it, I was looking over the questions that are here, and I know these are, this is a draft, and these are, or just some sample questions, um, that um, I, I think if we, if we go for this kind of a survey, and, and not 100% sure that's the, the way to go, it really needs to 
B, um, there needs to be something that gets people thinking that, no, we're not talking about just, let's, what, what's the quickest, fastest thing we can do? Um, and, and only thinking about the town center without, uh, which, you know, without respect to the setting that we're in, uh, or that the town hall is gonna have this, this uh, big performance space and that maybe Watermelon Wednesday is gonna go to winter, you know, and, and the, that there, right. there may be a lot more activity in town. What do we need on top of that? Um, and so I think that at the very least has to be, this has to be packaged um, in sort of, you know, make it, we're asking these questions in a, in a context that's bigger. Um, and, and especially looking toward um, you know, development, financial, well, fi financial well, is not the right word, what's the right word? Economic development um, in, for our town. Um, and I'm not sure, in a way, <laughs> that the people of the town are the, uh, this is gonna sound really bad, so sorry, I'm gonna wait till I get to the end. Um, I'm not sure the people of the town are the experts on what's gonna be the best economic development, but they are the experts on what we want for our town. And if there are other experts, we eventually consult on this to see you know, what kind of economic development that other people can envision for this town. We have the information about what people who live here want. And because, you, you know, if you get a, an idea that nobody likes, or is so far away from what people um, envision, then, then that's, that can be a real problem too. So I can, I, so I can see where the information in a, in a survey kind of like this could be useful. Um, so, but I, but I, I also wonder if there are other uh, other places to get the kind of information that we were talking about, uh, what, you know, what kinds of things could work. That might not be something where the townspeople are the experts we want to see for the, what are these other possibilities. Did, did, did any of that make any sense? I, I wonder if, we're, if, if part of, kind of what you're talking about is asking the community, what are their economic development goals? Is it creating more tax revenue in town? Is it creating more local jobs available in town? Is it creating just more general business activity in town, bringing people from outside to spend money? And of those three and maybe other examples, what is of their greatest importance? Or rank in order, yeah. you know. Rank choice voting. Is, is, you know, tax revenue the most important? Or is creating uh, a, a sense of business activity and whether it be Waitley Center or someplace else in town? General growth or not general growth. I mean, mm -hmm. population growth is going to be an issue. Some people want to see us. So I think that the survey six years ago said that I, would, I think more than half the people said they don't want any change in town. They want to leave it the way it is. And it's probably the, I guess, the older generation. It's, mm. it's aging in town. It wants to live here and stay yeah. the way things are. Right. But for example, if the first question on the survey were something like what um, Jennifer Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. Jessica said, then that sort of cha that changes the context for all the rest of them. You know, um, it changes the context for the rest, and um, maybe it's, we don't ask. A, I mean, what do you like most about Waitley Center? I'm not sure how how if that's really the question to start with. Um, uh, what do you think is missing? Well, yeah, everybody who's not here, raise your hand. Yeah, there's, it's really hard to imagine what is missing if you don't have a, a kind of a larger idea of what you would want there. So some people would say there's, we're missing tax revenue. Some people might say we're missing a place for people to work. Uh, or, uh, so, so I kind of like that, the question that you kind of came up to with him, kind of off the, off the seat of your pants, so to speak. Um, as something that can kind of guide the, you know, the, the, the mindset that people have when they're looking at these questions, that we're not just looking to see, uh, that let's, let's, have, let's have everything be the same forever and never change because the way we have it is, is the best. Um, I think most people would say it's probably not necessarily the best, but it is, you know, it is what we have and then we got here in a very reasonable way. Um, and kind of the same thing with what we'd like to improve I kind of like the more specific kind of question you're talking about. You know? It doesn't matter for surveys because it's just easier. 
yeah. Yeah. Draw out the data. And, and it's not that you can't that, that we can't have anything like those first three questions on there, but um, what if, I'm gonna hate myself for suggesting this, and I don't know whether it fits within the budget. <clears throat> what if we had a town forum prior to a survey? Get a pulse of the town. Come with some loaded questions fire up some conversation. Then based upon what we hear from the forum, mm -hmm. we create a survey. Because then we know what we don't know, we know what we know. Yeah. And, and then maybe even have a follow-up town forum saying, okay, the survey was created as a result of the initial town forum. Here is a follow-up town forum. Here's what we've learned as part of a larger process. And that could be a forum where that's facilitated, like the meetings we had at the school, where you had a whole bunch of people sat at <clears> tables and and you got to discuss right. in small groups various questions and that you know a facilitated real, by an economic a, development person, right? What, what's your what's your schedule for this? I mean, you have to do this by the end of this year. Yes. By end of December this year. Yes. Actually, mid December because so we have to do a report to the state. Okay. So if we had that, well, we could do it. Next several months, we 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 got it's other possible. other topics we could also present too in, in an information yeah. session. So what you're talking about is kind of an, an intensive charrette, yeah. and that's where you really get great information. You have people really concentrate and think about the topic at hand and dig into it, and and those are fantastic. I don't think they would be within the scope of what we are able to accomplish. Why not? Um, because we would need to have mapping people. We need to have multiple staff. To handle the small groups, I don't know if we could pull that together and do a survey. Can we find that if we can? Because I don't, I don't know whether you're, whether that I don't know if we can is we can't or I really don't know. I really don't think we can. Well, what was we? Because we, we talked a little bit about that in the phone with Peggy. Yeah. Because yeah. honestly, a survey isn't that much work. <clears throat> but to, to facilitate yeah. that kind of a meeting, what, we it's hired the a, it's the we hired it from refill. What was it? The organization. Remember for the town hall? Yeah, no, that was from UMass. That was UMass. That was a Richard Tillman. Tilburn. That was from UMass. Okay. Yeah, it was, that was a um, that was a group that that essentially made people take a deep breath and have a conversation with each other rather than yelling yeah. at each other. Okay. Yeah. It was kind like of like how, how to solve yeah. problems yeah. in small town okay. government and things like that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. You know, the one thing I, I see, I guess, maybe personal view of, of the center of town is lacking is recreation activities there's no ball field there we, we got hills for winter sliding but i don't think anybody uses them unless you live there i mean there's another winter activity you could do to get people in the center of town i don't know what there's open space for another ball field or soccer fields or whatever to get people there otherwise they're all on this side of town which i guess makes sense because you got the open land here and it's, and some parking areas i, I guess to, to for people, yeah. but you know, to get more people in there to do something, maybe that's young people. That's wow. the way you know, young people. Well, there's yeah. a swing. There's a set of swing sets. I know, but to go behind, I mean, you could have a sliding well, activity. Those for two or three year olds. Yeah, sliding activities are. I, I don't know if people are into that these days or whatever winter. Liability. Uh, well, if you could get a private company or or a, a group activity, a group from town that would sponsor something like that to see what you get, I guess. Let me ask you this, Jessica. Obviously, we could do a, 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 an introductory town forum without the mm -hmm. needs of a charrette. That's just an information gathering, get people talking, get the discussion going. And obviously, the survey doesn't take a tremendous amount of resources. The resources that are needed are the, let's say you broke into five, five groups in a charrette, maybe six, but I don't think six because I don't think you're going to get that many people. And a charrette isn't very effective if you have three people sitting in each group. Um, so if you had five people, you're saying that that the COG would have to come up with five staffers who knew what they were doing, and that's beyond the scope? It's beyond our budget. It's beyond. So because you obviously, quote unquote, bill out yes. those five staffers for the two hours and the preparation. Yes. How big's the budget? Right now it's about 4500 but the first two items shouldn't be big budget items. It's the last one. 
Well, I mean, right now we've already used some of the budget for me to come um, to develop different scopes of work. Um, I can try to price this all out, and, and I can do that. I don't think you will get the product that you would want okay. with the budget that we have. And, and I appreciate that. I just worry that if we keep it on the more simple level, mm -hmm. I'm not sure we're going to get a product that we want either. And I'm going to use yeah. the, the police regionalization item that we discussed three years ago now, four years ago now, using these same funds. And the money was so short, we got absolutely nothing out of it. Because it was just so small, it was just like, all right, that was a great intellectual exercise, sort of. I don't think anyone, any of the three of us want an intellectual exercise. We want something that you, we can really leverage. So, and so I guess that's a good point with leveraging. What is it that we could gather now that would allow for you to take a deeper dive? and do a more intensive planning exercise. I personally think the charrette is necessary. I but, really do. But the charrette instead of a survey? Just a one right. shot? But to, to get people to, to assist in the, in the charrette, couldn't we get volunteers or town employees to do that? I, I mean, They're not, they don't have the skill set. They don't have the skill set to, to truly do it. I mean, I've been well, to a you, 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 know. you could. You could, I, well, you, you could moderate, I guess, the, the session and take notes and whatever, and then it would go back to, to your, your office or to you to summarize and put it together. Uh, I well, yeah, not everyone's a good moderator. Right. I know. The but, example that I'll use, Fred, is that I've, I've done a lot of focus groups. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Someone who knows how to do and I think I know how to do a focus group. I am nuts if I really think that. Because there are, the people who really do a good focus group are so good at what they do. Yeah. And you get so much more out of it. I just don't want to throw good money after bad. So you, you really do need those five people yeah. who know how to facilitate a show. And I can think of two people in town who do that kind of for a living. Yeah. On economic um, development? Not on economic who do the a facilitated, who could do a facilitated discussion. Right, and maybe and they could lead a, an, an initial right. forum, and but not doesn't, a, Yeah, and that doesn't mean that they're, they're willing to do it and can come on the day and something. If we just did a charrette, would that fit in the budget? I don't know, because I don't know what kind of staffing capacity we would have for that. I, I, I'm highly doubtful we'd be able to do a charrette, but I can work with Peggy and talk to her and see what she thinks. Pretty good thing. That would be my vote, but... You know, at least look into that because it sounds like the, the amount that's budgeted for this is just doesn't match at all what we think we need. I think that's yeah. correct. Right. I, th I think what you'd like to do is a much more intensive planning process that we just don't have the staff and resources to do right now. Right. And and I and I I guess I just think that. But yeah, I don't I don't, I don't want to call it a planning process. <clears throat> I would call it an information gap. That's what we would get from a, a charrette. Or a what I would call a, 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 a sure, facilitated yeah. meeting. Yeah. Um, that's the purpose of that is to get information. It's not to make a lot of plans. Um, it's you know let's let's have some discussions about this and hear what people who are interested have to say. And I don't think that's a planning process because when you say planning process, that that sounds really big and that's really costly because it takes a lot of people's time. But I don't think a facilitated meeting has to cost more than $4,000. It's, so, it's step A market research. So yeah. is your, your first choice is to have a shred and not a survey? A survey, we can do a survey. Brian can do a survey. I mean, we, that's, that's very, I can do a survey for crying out loud. If, so, so if we can't afford to do, we don't have the time and people and resources to do the shred. Do you still want to pursue a survey? I don't know. I, personally, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, Louis, do we have additional town money we could put towards this project if she's saying we don't have enough? Do we have money anywhere to add? Budget. I don't know. <laughs> but it, I don't well, know well, how much did it money? cost to do the town hall survey? <laughs> There's nothing appropriate. Nothing appropriate. It did, I mean, did, did it, how much did it cost to do that town hall survey? I don't think it cost very much. You mean? Yeah, but I'm not sure. Uh, uh, is it I, community center? For the, yeah, yeah. For, for what about? Well, the, the the big one where, where people want, they wanted to know, you know, who would use it and what would you use it for and how many times a month would you, yeah, okay, would you use well, it for this facility or that facility and so that one. I don't think we paid for that. I think the Historical Commission did that. 
Yeah. But then it didn't cost very much money because. How about if we money. find out what the budget for a shred would be, and then we can figure out whether we can do it or not, based upon what other money we can go out and find with a tin can. Okay. That work for you guys? Sure. Otherwise, we're yeah, just going to go back yeah. and forth. Yeah. 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 So I'll work with Peggy, and we'll price that out and see what that would take, and if we have the staff that would be able to do it within this time frame. Can you get that back to us soon, that information? We need to, because yeah. we only we don't have much time left. Right. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. That's okay. It's you know we're, we're we want to do something that's going to be useful to you. Right. right. Um, and we just have to work within the parameters that we have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, one last thing. Um, at what point? Uh, at some point, I would like to engage the planning board about this as well, since it is a, an economic development planning task. So, you know, once I get back with Peggy and see which is the direction we're going. That's what the budget looks like, and then, because yeah. that's going to be a cost, too. Your time with that will be a cost, and, yeah. yeah so, I, I toss that out there, and we'll just need to figure right. that out when the time comes. Great. Right. Okay. Thank Thanks. you very much. Great. Thank you. Okay. Yes, we'll go through it. Okay. Okay. Well, business town hall project, revised site plan, and five <coughs> subbits. Revised site plan is what you have here, yeah, and what is point. revised from what we approved last meeting was the parking. Uh, you notice there's two spots by the Smikes house that we're gonna put there for their tenants to park. The other two spots for them are going to be along the along the building itself. Uh, there's two spots there. Which one? No, number two, two, and then there's either these two here or, or one and one. So we need to provide them four spots to park. Uh, and we're going there rather than there was an earlier proposal where the barn was to put parking here and get an easement from uh, Melissa Caldwell and. Building committee, store commission, and, and architect have all decided it is not worth the expense to do that for the one additional parking space we would gain. We wouldn't have the two up there, there would be four more down where the barn is, or three more down where the barn is. So all we would be gaining is one spot. And it wasn't worth the expense. But not only acquiring the easement wasn't a big expense, but what she wanted was a stone wall along her property and along the south. And that's what added to the expense. Oh, okay. So, <coughs> this work. Well, this is an uh, action item, Ryan, or just for information? No, so, so the practical effect of, of this change is that Article 1 of the upcoming special town meeting, mm -hmm. the recommendation would be that we would pass over that article as the easement is no longer necessary. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the house, and then, then, then you guys, uh, in the building committee are, are finding this, are working on the solution. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is this, this is, is what yeah, the solution yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 the building committee signed up on this solution? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So special to me, you just got shorter. It got yes. shorter. Okay, so everybody is agreeable with that brief. design for the parking. Okay. Uh, housing trust, appointment of trustees. Uh, Th this one is not time sensitive if we want to continue yeah. it to the I guess the, we had we nominated uh, three people at the last meeting or two ago and weren't sure of the select board appointee. Uh, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to continue yeah. on the committee or not or be a trustee. And uh, I guess my desire now is to continue being okay. involved in that committee okay. as trustee for now. Unless in the future we separate the two and have trustees and housing committee. but. But you just pick one. Yeah, we're looking at at same people for both. So have we found a, sol a resolution to that question yet? Can they be both or yes, they can be if we choose to have them be both. I don't see anything that would prohibit them from okay from being both. And and CPC has no issue with that because the housing committee <coughs> supposedly reports to CPC for funding and whatever. So, so they are well, they look for housing for, for funding, right? Right. 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 Okay. 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 So can we make those appointments then today? Well, we did the three. It's a matter of Remind me who the three were? Well, the three members, Richard okay. Tilburg, uh, Catherine, Catherine Wolkowitz, and uh, 
Fred Darren. Yeah. Okay. So you would be, that would be the Fred Squared. One, right. You know, for fourth one. And I guess it's out for anybody that wants to be on a, a trustee of the uh, housing yeah. trust. All the mandates are satisfied with those four? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's one vacancy. Okay. Okay. And do we need to vote to make it official? Sure. Probably. I move the slate. Second. Yep. Those in favor? Good. Uh, Okay, East Whaley School and adjacent lot, Brian. Okay, we've, this is kind of an ongoing discussion with the, um, the school district. Fred and I attended their building subcommittee meeting last week or, or two weeks ago, within the last two weeks. Last week? Um, Tuesday, yeah. To talk about what, what their plans were and, and how they were going to move forward with this. And if you recall, there's two lots. The town lot is the one to the north. The school lot's one to the south. There's cross easements for septic in the ball field. And what the, the challenge that's presented is that the cross easements really limit the potential reuses of both of those lots. If somebody wanted, if somebody purchased the blue school and wanted to reuse it, there's probably not an issue with those easements. The town lot, except for the fact that the town owned lot would stay encumbered with the septic easement, so we really couldn't do much with it, if we, if, we so, if we so choose. And they really couldn't do a lot with lot two because the ball field and the parking need to, need to, need to remain. Um, always, there's always a risk inherent with someone purchasing a, a building for a dollar that they're gonna sit on it. And they don't have the funds to do anything with it. So it becomes, a comes an eyesore and then yeah. it falls to the district disrepair. Um, what the conversation with the school district or, or what they were wondering was whether we would be willing to uh, put out a simultaneous RFP for lot one that would present a single developer the opportunity to purchase lots two and lot one together. Or separately, if they wanted, and they would they have would, to deal with the with the restriction. They would they would one. purchase them separately. They, I mean, they would purchase lot one from the town, keeping in mind that that would minus this one softball field. Right, and and, and that's the point that I want to make. If we're going to, and I don't mind doing that, but I think we need to because we're giving up an asset. Right. We need to be comfortable with the the use in totality. Of the, of the yeah. lot, lots combined. Right. But I mean, some things will be worth giving up a ball field for and other things. And other things, right. We want to make sure that they really have their ducks in a row, they have the funding that they're financing in place and they have a plan to, to implement whatever their, their vision is. If they don't have those things, I'm not comfortable giving up the asset. Right. But also, you talk about selling the lots individually. I'm okay with selling the lot that the school sits on individually. I'm not okay selling the lot that the ball field sits on individually because it's why? A, it's more than one lot the ball, the ball field sits on. It's on two lots. It's on two. But, but you get my point. If we can't, the only way that ball field lot gets sold is if the school lot gets sold as well. Otherwise, we still right. have the problem with the school. Right. But nobody's going to buy this the school lot with the ball, knowing there's I, a ball field that. on there. I get that. Right. right. The other challenge is, is that... <clears throat> We are lacking in, as Fred aptly pointed out in the conversation with Jessica, we lack sufficient number of playing fields in town. So we need, we cannot, if, if we do sell that, that law, and I think we should have a right of refusal if we don't like the purpose, but if we do sell it, we can't kick the can down the road in terms of, oh, now we're down a softball field, and that means that in, in Wakeley there are no softball fields, and that's and 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 we need both more softball and baseball and so we, we just we don't have a big enough asset, especially since so many other organizations, not the least of which is the high school and middle school, use our assets currently. We need more. Well, we'd have to find a place for another lot. And I mean, a landowner who wants to. Consider well, this, talk about selling or, or look at other little a gift town lots that we own by the school, 
by the, the school for one, there's a, a lot on the south side that could be a ball field. Could be. Or the, by the town garage. I That's guess too small. Rearranging that, well I was, I don't know if it's no, enough I've, room. I've been around that a long time. But, but I think that the other benefit is, you know, if both of these were available for marketing and, and sold, well, the town would get the proceeds from lot one, because we own it, and we would get our share of, of lot two for being a member of Frontier. So so it's not like we're giving up the, the two lots with no return. Right. Yep. So you know, and we won't know unless we find out, right? Right. So sending out an RFP does not mean we have to accept any of them if we don't like. Correct. In, right. in any any sale of real property is, is needs approval at town meeting. Right. Yeah. So can so we, right now the town's not authorized right. to not sell this property. Right. Well, can the I forget where we talked about this recently. Can the RFP stipulate the types of uses 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 yes. we ideally would like to see? Yes. Well, you're, you're, you got also the zoning of, you know, it's residential, so you're gonna, that's going to limit what can go in okay. without a special permit, yeah. Or change the zone. Change the zoning, yeah. Okay. But the, and the, other, the other, I think, major unknown, and, and I think Frontier is, is trying to get a handle on this, is the cost to remove the building or demolish the building. There's hazardous yeah. material in there plus the building demo, and I think that was one of the town's concerns of, you know, if we accepted that, yeah. no development went there, you know, what's our cost to make it marketable, which is tearing down the building? And oh. if that's worth more than a building lot, the 100,000 that building lots go for, we're not gaining anything. I think a developer would buy the lot, lot so, with building, and that's their cost. Right, their cost, but if they're gonna, have right. to demolish it because it costs too much to renovate, then you're not going to, uh, I guess right. I'm, you're not well, going to get a building on yeah. price, you're going to get something but we, less. But well, we don't, sure, but that's yeah. okay. It's like cash for cost. Right. But right. we so. don't know unless we ask. Right. right. So, and I think the question on the table is, should we ask? Yes. Should yes. we? Yes. Yeah, and, and I think yes. the answer is yes. Yes. Should, uh, that, that doesn't seem like an unreasonable yeah. next step. No. I agree. No. Okay. All right. Moving on. Sherman okay. Smith. Sherman Smith. Okay, Smith. The business. Uh, Sherman Smith Post and Boston Post King. Uh, there's going to be a presentation. I'll I, sign it. I think was it was next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Everybody or just? I think it's. Uh, I think it's everybody, right? Well, it's got my name on it, so I'm signing. Okay, amendment to Home Rule Petition for John LaSalle, firefighter. That yeah, we're here because of age and. Yeah, Steve Kiel filed this was this was an article at the last you know town meeting and yeah. requesting the, the special legislation of the home rule petition. And there's just a, a technical amendment that was passed forward by Steve Kiel's office. Okay. Um, it just clarifies that Mr. Losai was entitled to his retirement. When he retires. When he retires. I think that sounds fair. Okay, uh, 59 River Road, waiver of notice of housing court hearing. So 59 River Road, this is this is the continuation of um, the law process where the receiver is looking to um, sell the property at 59 River Road. That was originally um, put into receivership because of its poor condition. And that property is, is slated for sale, it was originally slated for sale in February, and that got put off uh, because the property owner filed bankruptcy for bankruptcy protections. So now that's, that's been cleared, and uh, uh, this was a request from the Attorney General's office that the, the town sign the waiver of notice. It appears that the, that the the Board of Selectmen should have received notice of the housing court hearing held in December, um, but that notice was never received. Our health agent received notice and the Board of Assessors received notice, but under the statute, the select board should have been should have received notice as well. So do you think this is a, an appropriate thing to do, This Brian? would just be the, the chairman. I, I asked the Attorney General what would happen if we didn't sign it, 
and they said that they would hold the they would likely hold the housing court hearing again with the same result. So, oh, um, okay. This is actually to, to satisfy one of the, the the receiver's title insurance company. This is not a controversial like, housing court decision in any way. I I don't believe so. No. Okay. This is this has been going on for for a while. Okay. Will Bike for Food has requested to use the town land here for a water station? That's an outrageous request. I know. Okay. And a port potty. Do they want us to provide water too? No. East Hampton Savings Bank will provide it. We don't even need to provide the water. Okay. I move. It's done. Okay. Second. Favor. Okay. While I take these off, will, will the town designate Lynn Sibley as the local update of census address operation liaison? Done. For census. Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. You don't expect what? Uh, these are contracts. I think we need to sign. Yeah, contracts oh, okay. for the solid waste district. The first one is for the household hazardous waste collection day. Residents can bring drop off hazardous household waste, yeah. and the town has appropriated up to. This is eight hundred, but the budget was a thousand dollars. Can we get a list of ex two contracts yeah. examples of hazardous waste on the website so people can understand what would be considered appropriate and what would be not deemed as hazardous? Yeah, there's a group. The, yeah, there are some in the scoop, but there's a, a, a website that was in the article in the scoop that has all the details. Let's get it on the web too. But we should link that, put a link on our website to the their website, which I guess is right here, Franklin County okay. Waste. Anyone who wants to know, uh, Franklin County Waste District, all one word, dot org, um, is where there's lots of information about this, but there's also an email, info at Franklin County Waste District, dot org, um, for specific questions. It could be um, on the link. It could be on the link. And we and could, would, yeah. And we can. Already there, I don't know. Uh, oh, I will check. But there's other links to I'll other check activities. after I sign. It could be like Ross Pro and hold up the sign, too. Yeah. And the second contract is uh, for the Franklin Solid Waste District to act as the inspector for the transfer station and the closed landfill. Okay. Do we want to talk about the long range debacle now or at the next meeting? That's that's the other item we, we skipped over. Um, we can talk. We have a couple minutes, right? Yes. Unless you have unforeseen time minutes for updates, I can I can make those as long or short as you want. Well, I, I, yeah, I didn't see the word debacle anywhere on the agenda. Um, <laughs> wait till you hear. So that study's been going on for about two and, two and a half years. Is that right? What study? Um, so it was a study that the the towns, the four uh, frontier regional towns in the yeah. school district appropriated a total of twenty four thousand dollars twelve for the oh, school district yeah. three for each town and we had and they hired um umass with the understanding that it was going to be completed by um I, I remember that as this, part yeah. of yeah and, and it's it related to to seeing a big look at the school districts and figuring out what and looking at the facilities and trying to find out how to optimize the available buildings well it's been two and a half years later and um after several meetings, we we finally got a draft that was really substandard, um, mm -hmm. and circumstances have changed really in those two and a half years. Frontier is not located; uh, the, the central office and mm -hmm. union district offices are not located in, in the high school, and a lot of what they're looking at really is not germane to mm -hmm. our, our current situation. Superintendent is going to be asking that the school committee pull out of the study, and they requested that we take the uh, ask um, figure out how the towns want to proceed. Um, and the problem is that the long-range study is critically important, but. So this leads us back at square one, essentially. I and mean, we have some data, and good data. Yeah. But the people who are gonna do the, the study 
didn't do their jobs, but it, and it really leaves us void of turning data into information that we desperately need because we have a long range problem in this town with oh, yeah. putting yeah. students backsides in seats. Although there are at least 30 new households in Whateley now. But you don't know whether they will be occupied by children. True. True. But it's not only a Whaley problem. It's a no, it's a regional problem. It's a regional problem. Well, that's why this was a regional right. study. Right. Although, yeah. although the focus of the study, and we had, we had a discussion with the town administrators and the superintendent, the original focus of the study was based on facilities. And the discussion kind of turned towards more, what would be more useful. And it, it would be less about the reuse of the facilities, but more about more about um, what Jonathan's talking about, more about uh, yeah, long, yeah. Well, I, long range I, planning for yeah. education and, and what does that mean and more about I remember how we get efficiencies, yes. not necessarily, oh, you can re, you have a, you have a half empty building, you could use it as a senior center. Well, we kind of already know that intuitively that if we have empty space, we can use it for town services. I don't think we need to serve, we don't need to no. report to tell us that. Um, but you know, yeah. education, trans and education, and how we should go about addressing population loss and, and declining enrollment and school choice and charter schools. And to me, that would be useful information because that impacts us financially, mm -hmm. and it impacts us today, and it will impact us for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't know what. And they've already cashed our check. We have not paid any money yet. Well, there is. There should be a discussion with our school committee to see how they feel and, and how best to proceed on this if they agree that something should be done. Yeah, we have two reps on Frontier School Committee who should be relatively well informed on this. And they'll hear about this at their, well, I'm sure they're watching TV right now, but oh, yeah. um, they'll hear about it at their, <coughs> their, next, meeting. their next meeting. Yeah. But I don't know if, if I don't know if we had sent out the report maybe before you were here, but I, I think you've seen the report, and it was oh, good. It was pretty substandard, um, and there's really been a lack of communication. Um, so I mean, we, if we want to just continue this discussion until after we hear what yeah, what that's what yeah. we'll hear what the other towns. But at this point, I'm not opposed to say. cut the cord. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if there's any yeah, final action on it, but I, I don't know. Tear up the check. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's, are, it's are, been are, written yet. Are so. we on the hook for for this, even though they didn't really do their job? That's because that's. I know we're going to get that question. Yeah. Well, yeah. they spent all the money committed for it. You don't know that either, right? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Yeah, we need to find out what what are what are what we're bound to. I mean, it's a contract that was signed by just the school district, I believe, but obviously all four towns <coughs> bought into this. Right. And we can't leave the schools hanging if we're all frustrated with the, with the outcome. Right. It'd be different if we felt differently, but I don't think we're gonna feel differently than what the superintendent feels. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can't Richard, call on you. Richard, you uh, forgot, sorry. Sorry, man, I forgot. Um, I just. When I was on the planning board and we were doing master planning, we also received some standard um, plan. And we were able, and I don't know who's doing this in advance, but we were able to negotiate with the, the director of that organization a, yeah. a, a reassignment, if you will, of a more senior person and a redo of the plan all within the con contracted price. So I don't know if that's a possibility. Or not in this situation. Yeah. I think the school has said somewhere that the staff assigned to it have changed. Once yeah. Or twice there's no longer the same people. And I mean, you have so, yeah. so it's so just it was, it, it was by students, it was graduate faculty students. over graduate students with faculty oversight. Yeah. Those students have obviously moved on. I think this guy sees this as an opportunity to give a new crop of graduate students. Uh, an opportunity to take a swing at the ball. Well, you don't want to be so you see your thesis, you want to be. Right. <laughs> professional. You want it to be. Or a, a master's thesis, thesis. thesis, not even a senior thesis. You want a PhD thesis. A doctoral dissertation, perhaps. Thank you. Thanks for Thanks. your comment. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank
Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, let's, 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 we, I, I think, think we're good. I think we're to adjourn. Get one good thing, uh, a meeting September 13th, they're both through the year. Mm-hmm. I believe I am. I will double check. I believe I am. Because we may have a collection on the town hall project. Oh, let me check my calendar. I am. I'm fine with the 13th myself. Do, do we need to move it? Yeah. No, no. I just want to know because uh, we may have action on this. Oh. I, I'll let me check my calendar, but I, I think I'm I will. Move uh, the town hall. Yeah, I'm that, That's possible. When you say move, does that mean we have to move the meeting to no, no. make up for this other one? But if there are only two of you, well, I don't know how you're feeling. Oh, oh so you might not be able to be there, so just say No, I will be there. She, yeah, she it's important enough for all three of us to be here. Yeah, right. yeah. We want to approve the contract for the oh. town hall project. Okay, understood now. Right. Approval. You need that. We have to approve it. Yes, the sun board approves it. I didn't know what you meant by Yeah, okay. okay. I'll be here. Okay. Um, okay. I'll be in Springfield right. to five. Okay. Okay. All right. We are adjourned, though, right? All right. Okay. Um, okay.